Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for a, another plan with me. I hope that you guys are all having an amazing day and I am super excited because we are doing um, one of my favorite plan with me's for the entire year. I always love the super bright colors for Cinco de Mayo and um, picked up some fun foil underlays and overlays from Planner Choco as well that I'm going to be incorporating into this spread. Um, I saw these on like a $2 Tuesday or like a foil day um, on her website and was like, yes, absolutely need those. This is going to be perfect. I was planning on doing hot pink foil with this spread anyway. Um, but when I saw the overlays and underlays on her website, I was like, this is perfect. So I got them in a hot pink hollow. This is the Fiesta underlays and overlays. And then I believe it was like Fiesta quote boxes as well that I used. And they're all in hot pink hollow. So overall, I love how this spread turned out. I think it's even more fun because when I was flipping through my planner to um, get to this spread, I was looking and the spread right before this, which obviously you guys have already seen the plan with me for, was like an anytime kit. And it was a very neutral spread. So it's kind of fun because I feel like you go from like neutral. Um, and then even before that, it was like a spring colored kit. Um, from Glam Planner to like really bright, vibrant colors. So I think it's a super fun spread. I just always really love doing Cinco de Mayo spreads. Um, and I was just so excited about this. I do wish that I had gotten a, I think her next size up is like an essentials kit maybe instead of like a mini kit because I definitely was a little bit limited on boxes, especially on Saturday and Sunday. Um, I just needed more small boxes. So you think in the future when I go all out on spreads, I'm going to go up a kit size as well so that I'm not restricted, but this, um, kit is from Crest Press. I, it did come with extra boxes, which is super fun. And I feel like it's just such a fun spread overall. Also, um, can we just appreciate the fact that May, um, like the first day of May is a Monday that is like perfect for spreads, which is amazing. Um, and something that I just, just love personally. Um, with that, I feel like recently with my caress press kits, I've seen some issues with like deco, um, not being cut all the way. And on this one, my seven wasn't cut all the way for the dates either. So I tried to like put the sticker on there and get it to stay. And then I was going to tape it. And then finally I was like, it's not worth it. So I just pulled in a seven from like another date pack that I have from Planet Hannah. I'm aware it does not match. I don't like how it looks, but I also didn't like just not having a number there. So, um, bear with me on that. I do apologize. It's driving me nuts as I'm like looking at this spread as well. But overall, I think it's honestly the only thing that I would change. I'm just so happy overall with how the spread turned out. Um, so with that, I'm trying something a little bit different with my deco, um, or not deco with my, um, like date or month, I guess you would say I'm taking a little bit of the extra washi and like in this case, the, um, Fiesta overlays and putting that down and then putting the, month for the date on it and I really like how it turned out I thought it was kind of fun I know some people do like a couple pieces of deco and I feel like it's very similar um which you guys will see here in a minute but just something fun I'm like playing with and trying to do um a little bit different style just to kind of spruce things up a little bit um I found myself marking um working out and walking um, quite a few days in my planner and I will still mark them some days like when I have time um, or space to do so but I thought that it would be fun to kind of try putting them in my sidebar instead and maybe eventually phasing them out of like my day by day if I have other things that could take the space um, but I think if not it's going to kind of just be like a filler for me on days that I don't have as much going on because during the week to be quite frank I'm not too exciting I don't do much um because when I'm in office, by the time I get home, it's already like 5.30 or 6. And then I still need to work out and cook dinner. And I feel like I do laundry, cook dinner, clean up dinner, lay in bed, sometimes watch like half an episode of jury duty and go to sleep. So I feel like my evenings are sometimes boring. So I'll still use those for fillers at times, but trying out putting them in the sidebar. Um, and then I had a fun Hello May script um, that I decided to incorporate into the sidebar as well, just because why not? It's May. So let's do it. And then I just used the other, um, box in my sidebar to write down our dinners for the week. Still playing around with my sidebar. I really like just doing like the full decorative sidebar. If I have enough boxes, I just didn't have enough boxes this week to do it. Um, so with that, um, 
I just went this route instead. I think from now on, when I place my planner choco order, I only got one of each Funderlay, so like eight boxes. I think in the future, I'm just gonna get 16 and then I won't be restricted and I can make my spreads however I want because I definitely was restricted and I didn't have enough of them here. So I ended up using header overlays um, in between some boxes from just a hot pink foil um, bundle that I had from SPC or somewhere that I got in a grab bag too. I think it looks fine, um, but I think I'm going to start doing that. That way I can try to keep only like one decorative box per day and then it can spread things out a little bit more so you can see the funder lays more than you can just when I use like a flag or a box, like a square box instead of a um, like rectangular box. But I think that's just something that I'm kind of experimenting with on my end um, and still really like how the spread turned out. Um, aside from that, I'm trying to think any other stickers that I used here. I always put all of the shops that I buy most of my stickers from down below. Um, but if you have any questions on where any specific stickers are, definitely don't hesitate to let me know. Um, I already told you guys where all the foil is from, which I think is definitely like the showstopper in this spread is the hot pink foil and the quote overlays and things like that that I'm putting in now. Um, like one says, let's get smashed. I'm here for the tacos, shake your maracas and DTF down to fiesta um so i thought that they were they were all fun and just something a little bit different for the spread to incorporate and then the other one just came out of that spc foil bundle that i had um you can see that seven that fell off because it's just the top of the sticker not the sticker just like laying on the page now too um and then with that i think that was pretty much all of the like logistics as far as where things are from in the spread and kind of why i'm doing things the way i am i am color blocking i really love how color block spreads turn out i just feel like it's so like aesthetically pleasing after so i like to do them when i can um and without further ado we can go ahead and hop into the day by day um so on monday I put down that I had therapy. So on Monday, right after work, um, I would come home. This was, that was actually my last week. I'm moving to a different therapist. Um, but I would come home and I had therapy at six. So I would come home pretty much if I could sometimes get a workout in, um, between work and therapy, but sometimes not go to therapy, which usually lasted like an hour. Um, and then work out, um, this day, I think I worked out actually, yeah, I worked out after because I went ahead and like prepped dinner and put it in the oven and then did my workout while dinner was cooking, which was great because I was being like double productive, which was awesome. Um, so I put down that I had therapy with a cute little sticker from McPlans. And then um, Colin actually turned in his notice, which is super exciting. So he's going back to the um, family business. So he's going to be farming full time, which is super exciting for him. It's something he's wanted to do for like ever. We thought that long term, it was a little bit further out than um, it ended up being, which is super exciting for him. Um, but he turned in his notice at his corporate job, if you will. So he had to give a month's notice just because of the position that he was in. So he turned that in, which was super exciting this day. He was super duper nervous, um, rightfully so. When I gave my notice at my previous job, I was super nervous too. One of my jobs before that though, it was like literally the easiest thing ever in college. I remember it was like an email and it was like, are you coming back next semester or no? And I was like, no. And they were like, okay. Um, but he turned in his notice so I felt the need to mark that with a little sticker that said suck it from once more with love. Um, that's not actually how he felt. I just didn't have any better stickers and I thought it was kind of funny. Um, and then I also put down that that night after dinner, I did the dishes. Like I said, my weekdays aren't really jam packed with anything too crazy or exciting. So I thought that I'd go ahead and incorporate it um, because that's pretty much a typical weeknight for me. Um, and then on Tuesday, I had a video go live. Um, I think it was my... April haul, maybe I could be wrong there, but I had a video go live. So I thought that was fun to mark with this little laptop with the YouTube icon. I actually got that in a sampler. I don't know where it's from, but I really like it and I should try to figure that out. Um, and then I worked out and went for a walk. The nice thing on Tuesdays is I usually 
sleep in about an hour later than I usually do um, and then get up and still have time to do my workout before work and then usually go for a walk on my lunch break. So after work, I'm like free, which is amazing. And I have way more time because I always feel like at the end of the day, I'm always like strapped for time. Um, and then I had told myself that day, I really needed a new pedicure. So I told myself if I got up and did my workout before work and went for my walk on my lunch break, I could get a pedicure. So I got a pedicure and then the place I get a pedicure at is right next to where I grocery shop. So went into the grocery store, got some groceries, um, came home and watered my flowers. I have, um, quite a few little planters. So trying to remember to water them, it was cooler this week. So just doing like every other day, um, but watered my flowers. Um, and then I filmed a plan with me. I was like a lean, mean plan with me filming machine this week, especially on Saturday and Sunday and just like editing, uploading. I had like a ton of videos in queue because I'm getting ready to go on vacation and I wanted to make sure that my upload schedule stayed consistent. And then I also want to stay like a week ahead throughout the summer so that I can continue to do that with upcoming trips too. So, um, filmed a plan with me. And then when I work from home, I usually like tidy up and do laundry. So I just put down that I did the laundry too. Um, on Wednesday, I went for a long walk after work. Usually if I do a workout both on Monday and Tuesday, to be honest, I'm usually pretty sore by Wednesday. So I usually use Wednesday as like an active recovery day and just go for like an hour long walk, usually like three miles. So nothing too crazy. Um, but just do that. And then came home and filmed a voiceover. And right after I finished my voiceover, Colin called and was like, Hey, I'm getting off early tonight. Do you want to go get Mexican food for dinner? Um, because we had decided we weren't going to go out on Cinco de Mayo because it was just going to be crazy. Um, and I was like, absolutely. So we went and got Mexican food for dinner and then we came home and watched jury duty. We're only a few episodes in, but we're really loving it. Um, we're watching like 15 minutes or so a night, I would say in bed, like right before we go to sleep. And it's been fun and like a lighthearted watch, which I feel like was something we needed because we were watching manifest before. And at times that was getting a little bit crazy. And then I would like go to sleep and have like these crazy action packed dreams. So, um, that's been really fun and I'm, I'm loving it so far. If you've watched it, definitely let me know down below, or if you have any more show recommendations, um, always up for those two. On Thursday, I worked from home again, um, and then I did my workout on my lunch break. I didn't get up early. I was feeling like a bum this day, um, so I slept in um, and then did my workout on my lunch break. After work, I went for a walk, and then we had purchased a Blackstone. It actually came in like the previous Sunday, um, but we hadn't had time to put it together, so I was like, I'm going to put this Blackstone together, and I actually got it put most of the way together on my own. Just have to give myself a pat on the back because I am not very good with that stuff. Um, the only thing Colin had to do is I hand tightened a lot of the um, nuts. So I was like, hey, can you just like check these and make sure the girl's not going to fall apart when we like wheel it? Um, and then he helped me put like the top, like the black stone part on it. But um, other than that, I put all of that together. And then of course, since we did that, we had to make something on it. So we made smash burgers for dinner and I made these ranch potatoes that I make as like a side sometimes when we're like grilling with cheese and bacon. And oh my gosh, they were so good. Um, but we had smash burgers for dinner. I also put down that I had a video go live on Thursday. I believe it was a plan with me. Um, or actually maybe it was a rewind plan with me. No, it was a regular plan with me. Um, and then I also did laundry again. So I put fold stuff cause I'm really trying to mix it up here. Um, and then on Friday, since it was Cinco de Mayo at the last minute, we decided to have a like taco margarita bar at work, which was super fun. So one of my coworkers um, used to bartend. So she made homemade regular margaritas and spicy margaritas. And then we catered in like steak um, and chicken, like fajita meat, and then the veggies and all the fixins with queso, salsa, chips, all the good stuff. Um, so we had that at work. Um, and then I get off early on Fridays. I usually get off around like 3.30. So got off early and came home. I always feel like for some reason on Fridays, like after the end of the week, I just come home and I'm like, ugh. Like I'm always, I always say I'm going to work out on Fridays, even though my goal is just to be active like four days a week. And if I can do something on the weekends, that's awesome. And it never happens. So I came home, sat down on my couch, edited some videos and binge watched One Tree Hill. That's what I've been watching without Colin, even though I'm like really want to watch Jury Duty and I keep debating just like watching it without him, but we try not to do that. So I'm trying to not 
do it, um, even though I really want to. So I edited some videos and had a One Tree Hill binge that night. And then let's see, I had to pick Colin up. I didn't mark this, but I picked Colin up. He was at like a field and he needed a ride. So I picked him up and took him back to the farm. And then that night we made hibachi chicken steak and rice on the Blackstone. It was really good. Um, biggest thing is if you're ever making that, you have to pre-cook the rice and let it like cool in the fridge, which I had done. Um, but we had a pretty late dinner that night. Colin didn't get home until like nine. So we ate dinner at like 10 p.m., which is not great, but that's okay. Um, and then of course I had to mark down that it was Cinco de Mayo. Um, that script is from like a sampler I think I had from like Glam Planner maybe and then a fun Coffee Monsters Co. Cinco de Mayo um, character sticker as well that I put down so pretty lax Friday night we were in bed and asleep by like 10 um, because Saturday morning Colin was up at like 6 30 and going back to work so he um, worked at the farm this weekend and I had texted Colin's mom that Friday night because um, we had a birthday party for one of his cousins on Saturday and I wanted to get like some information on that and figure out like gift and everything and make sure we were good to go there and then I said hey um, I heard like that there's a farmer's market in town and I know that they started doing it a couple weeks ago are you busy tomorrow morning um, because his parents live like a couple miles from me I said we could go like to the farmer's market, grab a coffee. Um, that could be a super fun like Saturday morning. So she was like, sure. So I got up Saturday morning, tidied up around the house because Colin got up at seven and I was like awake. So I was like, might as well get up and be productive. So did some laundry, tidied up around the house, started my robot vacuum. Um, and what else did I do? Clean the bathrooms. It was very productive that morning. Um, all before like nine. Um, and then Colin's mom picked me up and we went to the farmer's market. We walked around. There wasn't much there. I feel like it's still a little bit early. I got some lettuce, but that was pretty much it. Um, and then swung by and got a coffee. Um, and then she hadn't put any flowers out yet this year. So I was like, oh, I'll go flower shopping with you if you want. Um, and then she had their family dog as well. Um, so I like held her leash while we walked around the flower place because she was able to go in. Um, so we went to two different places and looked at flowers. I might or may not have bought one more plant. I've been really wanting a second. I have a, like a big hibiscus bush tree I don't know what you would consider it's yellow um and I was like I kind of want like one more like small thing and they had this one it was so pretty it's like ombre um like the flowers it's like pink and yellow and orange and oh my gosh it was beautiful and I was like yep that's it it was smaller so it was cheaper and I had a planter already in soil so I let myself get it so I got a flower while we were flower shopping as well which I'm super happy with every day I like drive by my house or like not drive by that sounds weird pull into my garage I'm like oh my gosh there it is it's beautiful um so I picked that up I had a plan with me go live that was a rewind plan with me on Saturday morning and then I had a ton of planner time so um, I'm gonna be going out of town so I filmed between Saturday and Sunday all of my rewind plan with me's for February I started filming my May haul um, filmed some content that I'm going to be using to make reels on Instagram like one of the recent ones I'm po I posted and there will be one up for this spread too when this plan with me goes live um took thumbnail photos and photos for instagram did i film anything else i think that's it oh my march rewind plan with me kit lineup as well so filmed a ton got it all into iMovie started editing and like clipping things and all that fun stuff too um and I was binging One Tree Hill while I was doing that and then I put down cleaning and laundry because I had done that that morning and then that night I went to Colin's cousin's birthday party originally Colin thought he was gonna go and then he thought he wasn't gonna go so I was like okay I'm just gonna take the gift over and then we'll just like play it by ear and then I got there and like from the time I pulled in and parked and got out of the car to the time I got in the house because I was on the phone with Colin on my way there like just talking um they changed their mind and him and his dad came so they were there as well I had also taken them lunch that day so got to see Colin for a little bit which was always a good time um and then I think that was pretty much it for Saturday. We stayed there pretty late. By late, I mean like 10. And I was like so tired. So we came home and went straight to bed. I think I was more tired than Colin was, which makes no sense because I didn't do anything at all on Saturday, really. That should have made me tired. But 
that's that's how it went um and then on sunday my parents came over and we went to brunch actually at a mexican restaurant i had never been um but they had so many different like foods they had like a huge buffet and we got there like right when they opened and it was amazing definitely going to be going back i mean um that's the only place that i know that you can get french toast sticks and chips and queso and a cinnamon roll and coffee all at the same place and you know honestly i'm here for it i love it i love a, some good breakfast food and i love mexican food those are my two favorite things to eat out so combine them and i'm here for it it was amazing um so we got brunch and then my parents came over after brunch and i recently got that patio set that i talked about in one of my previous plan with me's so we sat outside my dad hadn't seen the chairs he had only seen the table which i still need to paint um and he told me he's gonna paint for me which is super sweet um so I brought the chairs out and we like hung out on the patio for a while. I put a glam planner like teeny um that looks a little sunburnt because my back patio is like direct sun, like super direct sun, um like so much sun and really hot. So we were very hot sitting outside. Um I need to get an umbrella. So I still have to do that, but I'm just like still figuring out the layout and everything. Um but we sat outside I'd say probably for about an hour and like chit chatted and hung out um just kind of caught up and then my parents headed home and I had a little bit of planner time not much though I think all I did during this time because I had like 30 45 minutes was I'm so bad about not liking to use the bougie box like tape rolls um I hate them I just always rip them it never works out so I was like I have time I'm going to like pre- rip a bunch of them so i ripped like four pages of each core foil four pages of eight so that should be enough for quite a few spreads um so that i have those like ready to go and can just pull them in for spread so i did that watched some one tree hill and then went and got a massage which i get like once a month um so i went and did that i feel like it really just helps with like mobility and i have um back issues and I had pretty bad back issues in college that's like kept things in in check so um I try to do that for myself when it's not very expensive so I do that um I also put down that Sunday was hair washing day which I forgot to mention I washed my hair like first thing Sunday morning when I got up um and then when I got home it was like on like I finished filming all the plan with me's I also filmed this plan with me on Sunday well actually I filmed most of it on Saturday and then I filled in like these last boxes that you're seeing now on Sunday so filmed that um and then finished filming all of the plane with me's and then finished getting all of the footage into iMovie um and cleaned up everything because I had a pretty big mess in my area that I like film so I got all of that cleaned up and tidied away watched some one tree hill while I was doing it and some plan with me's um I feel like I'm always usually in a mood like a mood sometimes I'll be in the mood to watch tv shows or sometimes I'll be in the mood to watch like planner content i don't know why i just struggled to say that um but i felt like watching um a tv show that day and i have been more recently so um did that finished filming this play with me and cleaned everything up and then we decided that that night for dinner we just wanted to eat the leftovers we had from when we made that hibachi steak and chicken um i ordered a side of crab rangoon from like a local chinese place and went and picked that up for our dinner and then i got dinner all heated up i just heated it up in like a big wok that i have on the stove top um and then did some dishes and moved laundry around while i was waiting on colin to get home um and then sunday night after dinner i tidied up colin hopped in the shower and then we watched like half an episode of jury duty and we went to bed um overall like i said still just love how this spread turned out i think it's absolutely stunning um if you made a single day mayo spread let me know if you use this kit or a very similar one i feel like there aren't very many out there and i wish there were more also i'm realizing now that there's not a character sticker on that pedicure box so i'm gonna have to add one but this is everything i have left um thank you guys so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you like it subscribe if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next one bye